Hello there, I'm artist Aaron Rutten, and in this video I'll show you how to make your artwork look like it's printed on a 3D canvas using the 3D Extrude feature in Photoshop CC. So the first thing that we'll want to do is we will want to select our artwork and make sure that it's on its own layer. So what we can do is we can hit Ctrl A to select all, Ctrl X to cut, Ctrl V to paste. Then we can hit Ctrl T to enable free transform and hold Alt and Shift together to scale this down. Click on the check to commit. And then you can make your background whatever color you want. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut of Shift F5 and fill this with a background color of white. I'll go back to my artwork here. Next I'll right click on the artwork and I'll choose New 3D Extrusion from Selected Layer. It's going to ask if it wants to switch to 3D Workspace. Let's click Yes. Now down here in the bottom left we can orbit the camera. We can pan the camera and we can dolly or zoom in and out. So let's zoom out a little bit. Let's rotate it so that we can see a little bit of the top and some of the side. This is like a big cube, so obviously we want to make this a little bit smaller. Let's go to the extrusion depth here and let's shrink it down to something a little more realistic like one inch. And maybe we'll rotate it just a little bit more so that we can see more of that edge. You can change the angle of your light by clicking on the light icon up here at the top. And then you can move this little thing around to move the angle of your light and shadow and so on. So maybe we'll move it somewhere like this. Now you can edit the light in the room if you want to. Most of the time you're going to want natural light like we have here. If you look over here in the 3D palette and the extrusion material, if we go to extrusion, we can change the color of this to a different color. Let's say maybe we want our border to be white or red or black. We'll go ahead and go with black here. You can go to the environment option here in 3D, and if you want to change the color of the shadows or the color of the ambient light in the room, you can do that. We'll just go ahead and leave these options here. Now we'll go back to the layers palette here, and we'll right click on the art layer, and we'll go to rasterize 3D. And what that's going to do is that's going to change it from a 3D to a 2D image, and now you can composite as you would normally in Photoshop. Now if you want to continue doing editing, you're going to need to change your workspace from 3D back to the regular workspace. So go to Window, Workspace, Essentials, Default. That should be the last workspace you were using. And now you have all your normal palettes and controls back. But that gives you a pretty cool 3D mock-up that you can use to show your customers how your artwork will look when it's printed on a stretched gallery-wrapped canvas. If you found this information helpful, take a quick second to like this video and share it with your friends. And if you appreciate all these free Photoshop tutorials, go on over to patreon.com slash Aaron Rutten and make a donation today to help me keep making videos like this possible. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next Thursday for another Photoshop tutorial.